everyone, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would do another video outside. It's not as sunny today, but it's a pretty nice day and I just kind of thought it would be nice for a change. So this video is all about how to make your videos on YouTube better. And to be honest, this isn't just YouTube. It could be Instagram. It could be Facebook. It doesn't really matter. The first tip that I have for you is to add music. So you know those parts where you might be writing something or, you know, doing a vlog and just showing people something and there's this awkward silent, like silence in the back where you hear crickets playing. You want to add some music. So there are a few options. I always say use as many free things as you can, but music is a little iffy because you can use the free music from YouTube. They also have free music on iMovie and also free sound effects. But if you use those, sometimes you also have to add the music down in your description box and also say who it's from just to give credits. The best way that I found to add music is by actually getting a music subscription service specifically made for YouTube. And this video is not sponsored, but I personally love Epidemic Sound. I've been using Epidemic Sound for the last two years. And there are so many things that you can be that can be done with it. And I highly recommend, and it is only $15 US a month, and it's a really good investment. Keep in mind though, if you have more than one channel, you need to have a different subscription for each channel that you have. Editing some other options. If you don't like Epidemic Sound, there's Artlist and Soundstripe as well, but I do not have any experience with them because I've only used Epidemic Sound myself. So another way to make your videos better is the settings in iMovie or whatever editing program that you use. First thing that I do, and, and most of the time I have background noise in my videos because I've got kids, um, depending where I film, like right now, for instance, you might hear the wind or the plastic bags in the wind. So I always reduce the background noise in my videos and that really helps to kind of bring your voice forward. And when you're editing your videos, if your voice is too quiet, people can't hear you, which will lead into another tip of mine. But one tip is to increase the sound volume in the editing app that you're using. And because there are so many different ways to make your videos better with editing, for instance, I'm just going to talk about iMovie because that's what I use. But in iMovie, for instance, there's so many different ways that you can edit your video to make it better and to increase the quality. But that will be on a separate video because I do not have the time to talk about every single thing right now. And that's something that I would love to show you guys if you were interested. So I guess this tip would just be improve your editing, watch videos, learn how to edit with whatever program you're using and just make your videos better that way. So another tip is to add insert pictures or even inset videos. So say you're talking about somebody's video and you want to show how to do it, just add an inset clip and or a picture and um, also use transitions between pictures and between even clips in your own video and that will give a more visual appeal. Number four is to practice, practice, practice. So it is not normal for us to sit in front of our camera talking to it like it's a person. It's actually really difficult the first time you do it and not even the first time. It's still difficult right now. Sometimes it, well, it just got really sunny. It it isn't the most natural thing to do and it, the part the part that's easy is that if you are filming a video you can always go back and edit it later so if you have weird stuff that you say like if people say like a lot or um or and or but you can edit those out and your video sounds so much better the biggest thing is just to practice so even if you don't actually post your videos to YouTube right away, just sit in front of your camera or phone or whatever you're using to take a video and just practice all the time until you get better. And also be aware that you are going to be much more judgmental of yourself and you might not like how you sound on camera, but don't let it bother you because I'm pretty sure that you're way more harsh on yourself. Other people won't feel that way. Okay, another way that you can make your videos better is by upgrading your equipment. So for instance, I started on my iPhone 7 and it was great at the beginning, but then as I went, I think I went a year and a half using my iPhone 7 and towards the end, I noticed that the sound quality kind of petered out. And honestly, the picture quality wasn't as good as it is now. 
and I do not have a camera. I would love to get a camera, but I do not have like a thousand dollars plus to invest in one. So all I use is my iPhone 11 Pro and it works amazing. And the camera usually on the back of the phone is better than the one on the front, but it just depends because if you have it facing on the front, you can see yourself and what you look like. And so you kind of have an idea of where to sit in front of the camera and where your placement is for whatever you're filming. And it just is sometimes better. And as for lighting, I recommend that you use natural light as much as you can, but if you don't have big window or if you can't film outside or if you're filming in the dark, you have to invest in some kind of light. And I recommend getting a cool light instead of a warm colored light because it'll most resemble natural light. You don't have to get expensive box lights or ring lights. Even if you just have like a really bright light desk lamp, sometimes that is okay too. That's actually what I use currently to film my bullet journal videos and it works great. I've even had comments before on how good my lighting actually is and it's I don't know, $10 from Walmart. So it just goes to show that you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to have really good equipment or lighting. And so now if you don't have a phone, like a smartphone or something, you will need to invest in something that you can take videos on. Even if you have to borrow somebody's phone, you can work off of your computer or a hard drive or a flash drive, even if you do one video at a time and go from there and work your way up. Okay, so another way to make your videos better is by adding clips at the beginning and end of your video to kind of integrate and introduce your video. So you'll see at the beginning and end of my video today, I use a program called Canva, and that's just a recent upgrade for me. I do use Canva Pro and you do have to pay for it, but there is a free version if you want to check it out and get started. And it has been recommended to me by more than just one or two people and it is the best tool for graphics any graphics you need for your entire business i recommend that it is one of the best other than if you use adobe illustrator or something like that also just any tech tools so a person that i watch her name is Louise Henry. I'll link her channel for you. She is one of the best, like hands down, business gurus that I've watched. And I've got a lot of my YouTube video ideas from her. She has amazing ideas for what tools are really good for your business. For instance, like Epidemic Sound, um, even organizing your business. If you use Asana or Trello or something like that, all of these things are really good technology tools to use for your business. Okay, another thing that I recommend to make your videos better, and this is more when it comes down to you and organizing organization is plan your videos ahead of time. This kind of comes into line with consistency. So for instance, say you're planning on doing two videos a week. You don't want to just plan your videos and to try to fly by the seat of your pants. Currently, what I have been doing is all of my video ideas for me are already planned out. I do have a rough draft and I make a couple of drafts depending on um, if I'm planning on getting any hauls the next month or um, depending on what season it is. A lot of my videos can be seasonal. And it's always best to plan a month in advance. And so even if you post one video a week, it is really helpful because then you know what tools you're going to need. You need to know what environment you want to film in, whether it's outside or inside or, you know, whatever you need to do. And just to give yourself that extra time in planning really helps the quality of your videos. And it can make your videos better because you will have that time to sit down, write down some notes, figure out what you want to talk about. And I don't mean by that scripting because scripting, to me, it makes your video sound like a machine, like it, it's not natural. If I'm looking down at a piece of paper and just talking to you after the fact, it just doesn't seem as natural to me as me talking to you like we're pals sitting here and having a conversation. And those are the type of videos I like to watch. And I think that to get that relationship with your subscribers, that is the best type of video to make. But you do you and whatever works for you. If you're really nervous to talk, if you freeze up in front of your camera, that is a decision that you need to make for your own channel and for your business. Okay, I think this is tip number eight, if I'm not mistaken. So this kind of falls into the editing part of things. Make sure that you are loud enough on your video that people can actually hear you. Oh my gosh, I think it's actually snowing, you guys. It is nice enough for me to sit out here in a t-shirt and it's snowing. This is Alberta weather for you. Okay, so you need to talk loud enough so that your viewers can hear you. And this is kind of where it helps in your editing software that if you rewatch your video and you're editing and you can barely hear yourself, no one else is gonna be able to hear you either. So 
make sure you turn your volume up and just test it out before you actually play it. Use full volume on your computer just to see how it sounds. Okay, and this is kind of like the same along the same lines is make sure that you don't talk too fast because if you talk too fast, people cannot understand you. Even if you're excited or you have um, a speech problem or if you have you know, you're hyperactive or you have ADHD or something, just try to time yourself and slow down because that is like the biggest thing that if people can understand you, it your video is not going to be watched. The last thing that I have for you, and this is something that I'm currently working on and I have been um, kind of thinking about this the entire time, but I've been doing this video actually. So it's to get different camera shots. And this kind of all comes down to your personal style of filming. So there are people who just do planner related videos and you'll have your camera facing down on your book. And that's the style for that particular video. And that's okay. And you don't have to change it. You really don't but if you want to keep your viewers watching for longer which increases your watch time which increases your chance of getting downed on YouTube it's best to keep things interesting so that's where the transitions come in the um, inset shots come in the inset video even video you want to show something tech on your screen to take a film shot of your computer screen or your iphone basically anything say for instance you're filming a vlog and you want to get different angles of the same thing just to make your content more visually appealing it is a pain in the ass let me tell you right now it is a pain in the ass to keep changing the angle of your camera especially when you're just trying to do an ordinary thing like make your breakfast or make a cup of coffee but if you want to actually video this and have it on youtube that is the best way to keep it visually pleasing for your viewers so the very last thing i would just want to say to you guys is good luck and that is it for this video i <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up if you're new here i would love if you would subscribe and last but not least click on that bell button to be notified every time i upload a new video and we'll talk to you guys again in the next one bye